Why does Windows Defender still have significant impact on Intel CPU performance? According to Tech Power Up, Windows Defender will randomly start using all Intel CPU hardware performance counters on Intel Core processors. When this happens, programs can fight over resources. If anyone remembers Microsoft anti-spyware from the Windows XP days, these issues plague CPU performance. Back then, dual-core CPUs were at their infancy, and you would always see 100% CPU usage. 15 to 20 years later, we continue to have very similar issues. It seems Microsoft's solution is to sweep it under the rug as more CPUs come with more cores. Since Microsoft doesn't appear to be planning to fix this anytime soon, what can you do to fix this? If you like NV CleanStall, Tech Power Up delivers once again. They have two apps to cover this. The first app is Counter Control. When you have an Intel CPU, Counter Control will detect the hardware counters in use. Not used, no apps are using the counters. Defender, all hardware counters are set to two. Normal, Windows Defender is not using the hardware counters. Warning, Windows Defender is conflicting with an app like HW Info 64. If you want to try this app out for yourself, I'll include a link in the description. This app is a temporary workaround in the sense that you run the app once, hit reset counters, and you're good to go. But you have to do this every time you reboot your PC. The second app, Rottle Stop, is a more permanent workaround until Microsoft completely addresses the problem. When you first launch Rottle Stop, it will reset the counters automatically. Rottle Stop's benefit is you can launch it automatically on startup. To set this up, go into Options. In miscellaneous, the Windows Defender Boost is already checked. Put a check mark in Start Minimize and Minimize on Close. Click OK and close Throttle Stop. For Throttle Stop to start automatically, you'll need to add it in Task Scheduler. In Windows, search for Task Scheduler in the search bar and open it. From the Task Scheduler library, go to the Action menu, then Create Task. In the General tab, we'll put in Throttle Stop as the name. In the Security Options section, put a check mark in Run with Highest Privileges. Go to the Triggers tab. Hit the New button. On the line, begin the task, change it to At Log On. Hit OK. Go to the Actions tab. Go to New. Under Settings and Program Script, browse for the Throttle Stop app and double click it. Hit OK and OK to save. When you reboot your computer, Throttle Stop will start automatically. While making this video, the latest January 2024 Windows 11 update partially fixed the issue with CPU resources. However, the counter problem still exists and it could cause a problem, especially if you run benchmarks or hardware monitoring software. As you can see, Windows Defender is still utilizing CPU resources in Windows 10. The CPU resource issue may be resolved for Windows 11, but you never know with Microsoft as they could revert the change. The next time you run your apps, they should be more responsive, and if you have an older computer, it should have less lag. If this video has helped you, consider giving it a like. If you have ideas on future videos, let me know in the comments. Subscribe and turn on the bell if you want to see future videos. Follow me on X and Twitch for updates. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you later.